I know what you're thinking, bro. I was just pissed. I'll be there in time. He spent every day with his best friend, Derek. A song silk and bone. He gay. You want to get a milkshake? About sports, girls, life, whatever. It didn't matter. What? Oh. Are you gay? Martha. He couldn't wait to tell Derek. And then she unbuttoned my pants and like... You're gay. <laughs> oh, nice, dude. Where'd you pop? Derek, hit the road. Uh, yeah. I'll see you at practice. Yep. Have a good night, Mr. Jacobs. Right now. I don't feel well. We were fine when I walked in. He got a boner. The boy had a boner, too. She floats like a swan. That was impressive. Really? I love it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I like women, but you couldn't pay me any pussy. So much pain she lived in foul. Derek insisted they go celebrate. Just the two of them. Ooh. All right. I'd be so pissed, bro. Mm, gay bar. I like, um, what to call it, rendition of this sleep at last. And then I make wine from you. Aww, adorable young gays. Are you sure? Why you sound like Usher? How you know? Are you sure the test is accurate? So that's what happened. I love you too. Before he could come out. Well, I felt like he was bisexual. Irresponsible. This high motherfucker. Ru? Are you high? Yes. Was she there the whole time or did she just walk in? Now, as a beloved character that a lot of people are rooting for, I feel a certain responsibility to make good decisions. But I relapsed. Um, you're a drug addict. Whoever thought she would stay sober is stupid. And fucked up. And people just want to find hope. Sorry, that was from last year. Sorry. How to get away with being a drug addict. You can't. So, first things first, you want to lay the groundwork. I think I'm going to start smoking weed. I have panic attacks every fucking day. Don't laugh. You can't laugh. You are so fucking selfish. I, I, and I feel like everybody know you lying, bro. You, bro. Ah! What the fuck? The fuck is wrong? What the? Fuck? Are you not actually doing fucking weed? It was an idea. Guess their intuition. Make them feel like any valid concern is just their anxiety. Getting the best. Gaslight. None of this works. When you do drugs, it's not like when other people do drugs. It's better than committing suicide. <laughs> I, I have to laugh. I'm sorry. This is so f***ing ridiculous. I can't stand here. I can't sit here and hear this. So the next time you put Pop-Tarts in the fridge or milk in the cupboard, you have a motherfucking out. Oh. I just smoked a little bit of weed. Hey, what? Cool. By the way, I think you would really get along with. Aren't you not mad at me for whatever you're fucking mad at? Terrible lying. Why? Because he wants to fuck you. Do you want to fuck her? Not now. So you're straight? Kind of. Have you guys fucked that thing? Elliot, I'm asking the fucking question. They in a relationship. That question. Yeah, why did you dodge the question? Are you serious? Damn. I'm kidding. How many guys have you fucked? She doesn't want to answer that question because she's kind of a whore. A whore? That's your girlfriend, bro. I was gonna say slut, but then whore just kind of came. Well, how many men do you have to fuck to no longer be interested in them? Hmm. Uh, I'll tell you if you promise to never tell Rue. Are you for real right now? A hundred. 
That's fucked up. That's like a mentally ill amount of people to fuck. What does she say? No, that's like... That's supposed to be. But mean. you know what I mean? Like, most people are straight. And most trans girls don't wear binders, right? Yeah, and uh, most guys don't hang out with two girls unless they want to fuck them. First of all, yes. You're being sarcastic, and I don't like sarcastic people. Wait, aren't I sarcastic? No, no, you're the opposite. You terrible at sarcasm, Rue. Rue. And, you know, even though you've been gangbanged by the entire galaxy, you're still fucking, you're great. Nigga, I'm dead at the entire galaxy. Oh. No, no. Where the fuck she go? Oh, you motherfucker. Damn. She was whooping that hoe. You know I'm not good at that kind of stuff. Oh man. <laughs> I thought <laughs> I thought it was something so so fucked up. I'm not you would never hear it. <laughs> you never hear it. Vice Principal Garcia, hi. My name is Lexi Howard. I know who you are, Lexi. Right. I'm writing this play, and I was wondering if I could put it on. That it was just a movie. I, I told you, I did promise you that. One that she was writing. Suze so isn't wearing her wedding ring. Okay, that's a props question. Okay. My name is Lexi Howard. I am the writer, director, and creator of This Is Life. Grace, who lives in the shadow of her older sister, Hallie. Bloodier. Cut. Are you fucking high? Yeah, it's about love and friendship and about when. Shut the hell up! <laughs> so she just started writing and writing. Ooh, this is gonna be a messy play. Why are you awake at 4 a.m.? Why are you awake at 4 a.m.? Cassie decided to wake up at 4 a.m. that morning to get ready for school. Hours she spent getting ready. She only thought about one thing. <laughs> she looked good though. Out of sight, out of mind. Alex, they, they all just beautiful, bro. Speaking of beautiful, where is Kat? It was her way of telling him that she was his. Y'all just skin break out if you keep scrubbing like that. Sweet girl, you deserve the world. Wait, why? Oh, uh, my class is why then? Give me a minute. <laughs> anyway, back to where we started. This bitch really jacking my style. Truth or dare? Dare. I wanted you not to. I'm into scat play, and if you wanted to like poop on each other. What the fuck? Oh, no. What the Dang, he was, he was. <laughs> All you would have to do is front me like $5,000 worth of drugs, okay? And Hell then... the fuck no. Okay, well, before you say no, you kind of have to let me finish, right? Hell the fuck no. It's your fucking loss, man. Hell the fuck no. The only thing is. Lexi hadn't told anyone about the play. Man, I will get front row, bro. So send it to me. Hey, Ruru. Hi, Cass. Hey, Ruru. Wait, are you in the play? What play? Lexi's play. What do you mean, Lexi's play? Uh, the play that Lexi wrote? Oklahoma. You thought I was auditioning for Oklahoma. I haven't read it. So. Are you making fun of me, or did you actually think I was auditioning for Oklahoma? Yes. Auditioning for Oklahoma. I'm not. Then why the fuck do you look like you're auditioning for Oklahoma? Yes. Has everyone read Oklahoma but me? Oklahoma's not like a play you read. Bro, are you on drugs? <laughs> yes. 
You relapsed? Uh, I've just, nah, I've just been smoking a little bit of weed. I'm not fucking auditioning for Oklahoma, then why do you look like that? Like what? Like a country music star. In a good way or a bad way. Bitch, you better be joking. I don't understand. I don't understand, bitch. I don't understand. I yes, fuck it. I am in love with Nate Jacobs and he's in love with me. Oh, this is fake. This is fake. But she didn't say that. In fact, it was much weirder. She just stared straight ahead like she's doing now and didn't say a word. But when it was bad, was it really that bad? Or am I just telling myself that because I'm lonely and bored? Who you're not gonna fight with and just he's gonna love you, like, really truly love you. Maddie didn't realize that Cassie was talking about herself. Yeah. Oh, she's got the cutest smile, doesn't she? Yeah. Adorable. Mom, um, stop. So, Catherine, tell me about yourself. Who am I? <laughs> Oof, a really big question. <laughs> figure it out myself, you know, like. Cat wanted to crawl into a hole and fucking die. She ain't shit. And so did Cal, who hadn't been able to sleep since Nade told him about that disc. But Cal wasn't raised that way. I'm Rue, um, good to see you. Uh, I would love to present you with a, a business opportunity. Um. You know, that's not real. His ass crack was supposed to be clean open. School, right? Um, she dressed like a crackhead. And, and Steve Jobs is my hero. And I was just thinking, you know, what if there was a foolproof system? $500 a month to be runners. Now as collateral, we would upload their phones to a cloud that I own. Which is nothing to having your entire life released and ruined on the internet, so their incentive to snitch is basically reduced to zero. Don't do it. You're too much of a fuck up. Maybe we should start smaller. 10K? Deal. Rue, if you screw me, I'll have you kidnapped and sold to some real sick people. But she's an addict. There's no reasoning. The fuck you doing? Run. They didn't know each other well, except that they shared a mutual disdain for Oklahoma. Bobby, you okay? Are you all here to audition? Yes. yes. They're all here to audition. Right, yeah, that's that's what I thought. Ethan, why is you there? Fucking job. Asking all these weird ass questions like the feds. Then I find you out front of my house. Yeah, well, you deserved it, man. He's a fucking bitch. Oh, okay, tough guy. Oh, ow! The chief of police, Will Greenwood. <laughs> oh. All right, Ash, chill out, man. Fuck! Call the cops. I will. Die, old bitch. Oh. Real nigga. Get that nigga. I told you. Oh. All right, man. I Real nigga. That's how you gotta approach shit. The fuck are you talking about, man? You know, the blonde. Who, Jewel? You telling me you had sex with Jewel? Who's Jewel? I just want the disc. What? Disc. Why would they have the disc? Yo, you recorded that shit? I didn't know. You didn't know that you were recording? <laughs> I fucked up. Obviously, man. Do you and your son, like, do you, like, fuck people together? Till the end of fucking time, you understand? I promise. And I don't know shit about no fucking disc, man. It's not my problem. Is it okay for him to drive home? Ain't he gonna cuss? No, it's not the face tags. Okay, what is it? This is not easy, but I'm very proud of each- They looking at her like she back on that shit again. Do you have a crush on Rue? I do. I feel like Rue doesn't want to fuck me. Why don't you think so? She seems like gay or asexual, you know. Yeah, it is because then she then she masturbate. No, okay, she's not a sexual person. But like maybe she is, but I just haven't seen that side yet. Because you're very fucking fuckable. I mean, you're fascinating, right? 
So you're creative and you're smart. They live in foul. Kind of clumsy, but you're very much a whore intentionally, which is great. I mean, there's no lies, but he, they live in foul. Bird and shy. And your art is amazing. You should hang it up at fucking MoMA. But I'm sure Rue told you all that. You guys are in love, right? He try to move in. He try to move in on Jules. The $64,000 question is, what's in the suitcase? More like $10,000 question. Uh, man, I'm not trying to hear a fucking lecture, okay, about how my life would be better if I stopped doing drugs or believed in... The fuck up. Don't play that shit with me. <laughs> I've always accepted you for who you are. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Nobody's really looking you to be a fucking parent. Yo, excuse me? You talk back right now, we're done. One more fucking disrespectful word out of your mouth and we're done, you hear me? Or what, Ali? You gonna hear me? Disrespectful. If they made, made room in her heart for somebody else. Mm. Couldn't be me. Had everything, I'd still be a. Yeah, I'm proud of her. If I ruled. It. What part? Alexis Clement. That's not manly enough for her. God, I'd turn in my knees. Stupid. I have a hefty price on her head. I hope you enjoyed that video. I enjoyed this episode a lot. I kind of figured all this stuff was going to happen though. Like, share, and subscribe. Comment something. It helps the algorithm. Let's converse. Let me know your thoughts. Um, if you want to follow me on any of my social medias, I would say Instagram is where I mainly be at. And I got a Twitch. I'm probably going to start, you know, going live on there. I'm also going live on here. I have a, a live on the schedule for Sunday. Okay. Thank you. Be kind. Where were you? Oh shit, you were the perfect dude. With your perfect life, and this is personal. I can't work at night. I used to work for you. Now I can't get a call back. Wasn't ready for all that. Used to hoop with you, I'd alley you with you, and now I can't get the ball back. Oh yeah, I talked to my mom last night, no answer. I hate cancer, I hate how you spun out of my life like break dancers and left when all this crazy shit happened. Why am I tripping? Why am I mad? My belief is off. Gotta tell you all my problems till the beat go off. I don't know why.